as scientists and academics, I think it's really important that we do acknowledge that we didn't create these things in the 80s and 90s. You know, these practices have been around for a very long time. There are traditions that seriously predate anything in modern science in terms of how these things are used and why. We're not committed to proving or disproving, and we're fully trying to recognize what science can do. So there's a really interesting question of how do we translate those terms and how do we make sense of the way that it was talked about in a time and a place where the worldview was fundamentally different. Certain traditions have maps. If we kind of have a, a kind of map of phenomenology, as it were, of what happens for people in their interior as they're practicing, that gets us a lot closer to starting to look at that alongside some of these maps within certain traditions. And they may not match, but it may allow us to use these two pieces of information to build new maps, which are a little bit more empirically based and based on the best contemporary knowledge. Actually, there's a legitimate opportunity here for people to engage with something very meaningful, particularly in a time and a context where many people, I think, are experiencing considerable deficits in purpose and meaning. People are really looking for how do I reconnect? How do I find purpose? How do I find meaning?